confidence, composure, nerves of steel, and belief. These are just some of the attributes that the Newcastle Falcons have displayed all season, most notably in that championship playoff semi-final second leg against Leeds Carnegie. They're going to need them in abundance again tonight. It's the Newcastle Falcons against Leinster A. It's the final of the British and Irish Cup. It all started way back in October, so let's take a look at how both teams reached tonight's final, starting with the Newcastle Falcons. They kick things off with a 100% group record, winning six out of six, starting off with a 53 points to five win over Cross Keys, and then mauling Newport 93-0. They went on to the quarterfinals and carried out an equal demolition job of Nottingham, beating them 72-17, before a slightly narrower semi-final against Bedford Blues, having to withstand a second half comeback from a home team at Goldington Road to eventually come through 18-15. Now for Leinster, well, it was slightly more tough in the group stages. They won four out of six matches before tight quarter and semi-final wins over Bristol and their Irish rivals Munster respectively finally saw them through to the final. So, we know how both teams got here tonight. Why don't we take a look at a little bit of team news. And it's considerable for the Falcons as Dean Richards makes 15 changes from a side that beat Leeds Carnegie in that championship playoff semi-final second leg. James Hudson captains the side in his final season for the Newcastle Falcons. And Dean has also given a chance for youth to impress tonight with Scott Wilson getting a start and also Zach Kibridge as well. Joel Hodgson replaces Jimmy Gotheth at number 10. Rory Lawson comes in at scrum half and there also starts two for Jamie Soule, for Sean Tomes and also for Alex Crockett at centre. And a week after winning a hat-trick of awards at the end of season awards ceremony, Scott McLeod starts amongst the replacements. So, team news, check. Background, check. There's only one thing left to do and that's to get some fans thoughts before, during and after the match. As Falcons TV went around the ground. would around the ground be without an intervention from Al and Les and uh, Al back from Portugal this week yes Andy it was a fantastic week away thank you very much <laughs> let's move on <laughs> well we are moving on tonight because it's the British and Irish Cup final against Leinster A Les your thoughts ahead of the match um, Leinster who's class they've got a good setup over there their academy's top their, their A team are playing you know uh, tonight as well against Stad they're, they just use class and I'm, I'm pleased that Dean, uh, the boss man, has actually rested the people for the final. This is like the cherry on the cake and we haven't got the cake yet, <laughs> so I would prefer the cake. So I'm really pleased, So, but it's going to be close, even so. Um, but I don't know what the score is going to be because it is going to be close. Well, let's touch upon it there, Al. Dean's made some big changes ahead of this one. 15 changes from that team that won that second leg. Could that affect the performance, you think? I think it could. It's going to be a tight one. I mean, I've not been as nervous uh, about a sporting event since 1989 when Jockey Wilson won the darts champion. 1989, I was I, born. Really? <laughs> he won the 1982 one as well. But I tell you, this is a really, it's going to be a cliffhanger tonight. We're all supporting the Falcons, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. All right, OK. Can I get some predictions for you tonight? I think Newcastle Falcons are going to win tonight. Good. Has anyone got a score prediction for me? Ooh, hang on, hang on, he was up 20, first. 26-5. 26-5? 50 points to four, and? I think it's going to be 15-12. 15-12, they are all for Newcastle Falcons. So half-time here at Kingston Park in the final of the British and Irish Cup. The Falcons lead 10-7 but it's as tight as the scoreline suggests. The North Easterners got off to a very, very fast start. Joel Hodgson kicking us ahead after one minute only. And then Rory Lawson saw his chance from a scrum and dived over from close range. Hodgson having the conversion, 10-0 it was, but credit to Leinster. They came storming back with some enterprising rugby, flinging the ball left and right with their fullback in particular a nuisance. And they scored a deserved try with seven minutes remaining of a half, converted to to make it 10-7 at the break 
The Falcons still have a job on if they're going to win the British and Irish Cup. Time. I'm here with Gary, who is a season ticket holder at the Falcons. Don't let these colours fool you, <laughs> but he is supporting Leinster tonight, as I'm sure you're about to hear. Gary, thoughts on that first half? Uh, very impressive from both sides, actually. Um, Falcons started very strongly, and to be honest, at, at that stage I thought it was going to be men against boys. Uh, Leinster came back into it strongly, and I think good hands from Leinster, a lot of the line breaks, some good, some good breaks through the gain line, uh, and the try shows that they're good at offloads and, and some good pace amongst the Leinster team. Well, surely a win-win uh, result for you today. Leinster win, fine. Newcastle win, great. Come back to the playoff final. It, it is. It's a win-win. If Leinster win, I'll be very proud as a, as a Dublin man. If Falcons win, then my seat down in the East Stand will be very uncomfortable for the, for the next two games. So. After what can only be described as an epic, dramatic game of rugby, unfortunately the Falcons go home for losers tonight, but valiant losers against Leinster who win 18-17. I'm here with Al and Les. Al, let's turn to you first. A um, bit of a broad question, but your thoughts on a fantastic game of rugby? It was a fantastic game of rugby, Andy. Uh, Newcastle came out very well, started extremely well, put some points on the board. I think Joel Hodgson really started the game very, very well. It was a challenge, and I think, you know, Leinster came along to challenge at every opportunity, and they did so. And once Newcastle made a couple of mistakes, these guys capitalised on it. Well, hopefully we can look towards a good performance as well in the game that really matters in two weeks' time. Again, Benford Blues right here at Kingston Park. How are the boys going to pick themselves back up after that? No cherry on the cake, but boy, have we got a big cake to go for. They can, they will. Um, we, we, are, we, we can come back from adversity and we're a great side to do it. Look at what happened on Sunday, you know, after the uh, Bank Holiday Monday. We can really turn this around now. And the boys should be proud of themselves. You know, they got to the final for crying out loud. It's an awesome and epic, you know, uh, thing to do. And, you know, let's go and give Bedford a game of their lives. And that's what we want to do. Premiership, watch out, we're coming. Falcons are coming.